Hi there, I'm Mike from Finding Country. Today we're going to take you through the almighty story of the refurbishment project here at Herne Court. We're going to be meeting Kelly, who is one of the vendors, and Sean, who was the contractor that did the work. They've gone for that contemporary, fresh and modern home mixed with that old English and traditional style that Herne Court has to offer. The story of number eight actually dates back for us two and a half years, but Herne Court itself dates back to the late 15th century. Let's go and take a look. Meg and I have been traveling to the UK probably for the past 25 to 30 years, and we've always had a love for England, the history, the architecture, the people, the culture. And we've always talked about retiring here one day. And then we found this beautiful part of England. Uh, we looked at Devon, we looked at Dartmouth, and Dorset just seemed to be the perfect mix. Every day we try to explore another part of the area, so we've just been making journeys and explorations each day. And then we found Hearn Court and immediately fell in love with it. And we just found it online. We loved it so much, we made an offer on this house, sight unseen, <laughs> which was a huge leap of faith. And for us, it was the feel of the home the age of the home, it was built in the 1500s, so you don't often get to say you live in a house that was built in the 1500s. So I think the charm of the building, the landscape around, the, the grounds that it sits on, the history, um, it was a chance for us to live in something that you don't usually get to live in. I wanted to keep as much of the character of the home as possible. I loved the charm, I loved the history. So we were confined a little bit to the, the listing of the home. There are certain things you can do and certain things you cannot do. But for me, my overall goal, I think, was to keep as much of the traditional charm of the house, but bring a modern, a modern touch to it. Sean, as the project manager for the refurbishment project, can you take us through exactly how close were the final results to the plan that you had in place? The plan from the beginning um, was exactly what we have achieved. Um, there was a bit of a few compromises that we had to make because of listing, um, certain things we couldn't do, but we achieved what we wanted to achieve at the end of the day. So the library is arguably one of my favourite rooms. Sean, could you take us through just roughly what you could and couldn't do? So with the library, we obviously had to leave the panelling behind. We weren't allowed to touch it because it's listed. So we ended up leaving that behind. We ended up getting the shelves and that made. And then obviously the floorboards were all replaced as well. I can certainly tell that the property has been sympathetically restored to retain the character and all of those period features that comes with it. Can you detail just how many man hours and how many people you needed on site to achieve such a fantastic result? A lot of people and a lot of man hours. Um, I don't have the exact figures, but I know there was a lot, um, especially myself and my team. We worked day in and day out, um, long hours to keep up with everything, so.
we just looked at each other and thought, you know, what are we waiting for? Let's just, let's just go for it.